beautiful people. Hope all is well. Thank you again for watching my videos. Thank you again for subscribing. Thank you again for hitting those like buttons. Hope all is well. So last time I left you guys, I was in Corsicana, Texas. Corsicana, Texas had a load going up to uh, South Haven, Mississippi, which is just south of uh, Memphis. Um, and as I mentioned, there was a guy at Corsicana that I uh, that recognized me from um, YouTube, and he said hello real quick. He was actually leaving as I was pulling in, so um, we were delivering to the same place in South Haven, Mississippi, and uh, ended up uh, seeing him there. Um, really cool guy. He ended up getting my phone number off of my uh, YouTube channel and off of the descriptions of my videos and sent me a text saying, hey, the dis uh, dispatch said no parking, but there is parking. There's a long dirt driveway. Uh, I'm parked here, easy to park. I'm like, perfect. So that was really cool of him to do. So ended up getting there around 11 p.m., 11, yeah, 11.22 p.m. Um, made it there with three minutes left on my clock. So that was, that was great. Uh, a little bit weird thing that happened along that trip though. I had insulation. Insulation only weighs about 8,000, 9,000 pounds on the truck, but I still got horrible, 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 horrible gas mileage. Um, it was very, very weird. I had to do 65 all the way. Uh, that way I can make it there on my clock. Uh, but I only got like 6.2 miles per gallon uh, for, during that trip. That was really mind-boggling. I have no idea why and how, uh, but usually it's, uh, you get in a load of insulation, you're getting a really good miles per gallon because the light's so low. The light's so, the load is so light, um, what I meant to say. So, sorry for the racket, there's a Coca-Cola truck backing up behind me here. Um, so, ended up getting there, I wish I would have unstrapped at night when I got there. Uh, it was a big dirt road uh, driveway to this uh, construction site. That night, it ended up raining and raining and raining and raining. So I was thinking to myself, oh man, it's 42 degrees outside and it's gonna be raining. I'm gonna be un uh, unstrapping in the rain. Uh, gotta put on my rain gear, blah, blah, blah. But thankfully, it was not raining when I woke up at 6 a.m., but it was muddy. Muddy, 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 muddy. Um, so all my straps got all muddy, and so that was a bummer. But then we got told that we need to move to the back side of the construction site and the big building. And when we got moved back there, guess what? Nice big parking lot that has been paved and is concrete. I wish I would have waited until then to unstrap, but I didn't know about it because all it was, it was just wet and not muddy, and that would have been much more preferred. So uh, he was nice enough to help me un un unstrap and stuff, so that was really cool, and it was, it was great. So we were sitting there, we were waiting to get unloaded, our appointment time is not until nine. Another TMC driver pulls up with, insulate, with a load of insulation. I was like, hey man, let's go and uh, help him out. Let's touch his truck or trailer before he even gets out of the truck. So he grabs his wrench bar and his strap winder. I grab my strap winder and my wrench bar and we start undoing this guy's uh, straps before he even gets out of the truck. And then while we're doing that, another TMC truck comes in with insulation. It pulls in and um, so he jumps over to that truck and helps them out. I stay on that third truck. And so I'm walking back to go brush my teeth to my truck. And as I am, another TMC truck comes pulling in with a load of insulation. So we all go and help out over there. It was great. Everybody doing teamwork, helping each other out. It was really, really cool. Um, there was five of us in total. Um, and that was just really neat to do. Uh, really cool to see. I took a picture of it. I uh, don't know if I added it to the beginning of this video or the end. We'll find out uh, what I end up doing with that and during the edit process. Um, and so from there, uh, after that, I ended up getting a load from Louisville, Mississippi down to Thibodeau, Louisiana, which is only 40 miles away from my house. And this load was the smallest load I ever had. All right, mind you, we have a 48 foot long trailer 
eight and a half foot wide. And yeah, my load was five sheets of steel, 10 feet long, five feet wide, five inches tall. They were one inch tall each. I took a picture of that too. Again, it's on uh, uh, either before this or after this video. I'm gonna figure out during the uh, editing process. But uh, that load, thankfully, I can at 10 miles per gallon. So that made up for my terrible gal miles per gallon with my insulation load. Um, and that was, uh, that was nice. So, uh, very easy load, extremely easy load. And then from there, I got a call with a couple of options from my fleet manager. I chose a Home Depot distribution load from Hammond, Louisiana down to Pensacola. As you can see, I'm at Home Depot now. I am sitting on my trailer. It is empty. I got here yesterday. They were kind enough to get me unloaded yesterday. So, um, had a really, now I'm just sitting waiting on the load, waiting on the load. I sent in my empty yesterday at 9 p.m. So I should be first on the board in this area to get a load. So they're trying to find me something that gets me towards home. This week, as far as uh, the money goes, um, not a good week, not a good week. But uh, you know, all weeks can't be absolutely incredible um it's not a horrible week oh i think i just got dispatched nope not yet um so uh 851 dollar load 859 dollar load that load from louisville to um thibodeau louisiana paid 801 dollars and this load from hammond, hammond louisiana to Pensacola pays 654 which is not a good price, but it was good for the mileage. It was only 215 miles loaded, paying 654 Not terrible at all. Um, total for the week... Dang, that truck by by. Total for the week is 4015 So I broke the 4000 mark, which is, uh, which is, which is good. Um, so, I am going home this weekend. Excited to see my godson. Um, I am gonna go home every weekend this weekend, uh, this month, but I am gonna do the Christmas run. So that should be coming up at the at the start or the end of Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving weekend, and then I'll start a uh, Christmas run, and we'll see how the money flows at that point. But uh, oh, something also really cool happened last night. So I am in Pensacola, Florida. Ooh, it's getting kind of chilly. I'm putting my hood on. Put my hands in my pockets. Um, so I'm over here folding up my my tarp, and I get a call from uh, a buddy of mine. Uh, we went to orientation together, and we talk on the phone a lot. And he was like, "Hey, Paul, what are you doing?" I was like, "Ah, oh, folding up my tarp at a Home Depot." He's all great. I'm like, "Where are you going?" He's like, "Pensacola." I was like, "No way! I'm in Pensacola." And and he's like, "Seriously?" I was like, "Yep." I'm like, I, I grabbed my phone, I pulled out my map. And I said, what's the name of the place you're going to? He told me, I forgot the name of it, but I put it in. It was a mile and a half from here, from my Home Depot where I'm sitting. And I was like, dude, you gotta come and say hello. So he was like, man, give me the address of that Home Depot, I'll be there. So about two hours later, he parked behind me. We went and had some pizza. It was really cool to have that reunion. That was really, really neat. Uh, we went to a little pizza, local pizza place right here. Uh, pretty good pizza and great time seeing him. He had plenty of time to to uh, eat and uh, hang out and still be able to make it to his consignee on his clock. Uh, he ended up getting to his consignee around 8.30, which means his clock reset at 6.30 today, so that's perfect timing. Um, that was really neat. That might not ever happen again. What a small world. Um, I mean, he lives all the way out in Arkansas, so for him to have this load and us to be right next to each other, we had to take advantage and, uh, and, and meet up. So that was really neat. Um, so other than that, uh, that is about it. I do have a Benson trailer. When I went to the Home Depot, um, I ended up getting a Benson trailer instead of my, and traded in my nice Fontaine. So not too thrilled about that. Hopefully I get switched up. Again, sorry, loud truck coming.
All right. Um, game on. So, yeah, hopefully I, I go back to Home Depot and do a trailer swap and get a Fontaine again. I'm not a fan of the Bensons. Um, I've uh, discussed that before with you guys. So, anyways, all right, that should do it for this video. It is Friday. It is payday, the most wonderful day of the week. Um, so, thank you guys so much for watching again. Hope all is well. Hey, you know what to do. Let's get that smile on. You got a great one.